Hey folks, this is Vince with Ads Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to check out Airheart Tales of Broken Wings. This is a game that you can find on Steam's Early Access program for about 15 bucks. Early Access means that the game is still under development, so everything that you're about to see is subject to change. I've played the game for about 15 to 20 minutes or so, and based on my experience with it, it reminds me a bit of Tailspin. Do you adults happen to remember Tailspin from way back in the day? It was a cartoon featured Baloo, and I think his name was Kit or Kid or something like that. Well, anyway, it's an airplane, cartoony-esque kind of game. You're going to be primarily earning money by collecting fish in the sky. Yes, fish in the sky. And you'll be able to also craft items with materials that you pick up and ultimately improve your plane. I didn't get much farther than that. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Uh, continue new game options, cinematics, credits, and quit. Since I didn't get very far with the game I was playing, I'm just going to start over so you can see it from scratch. Trust me, you're not missing anything. Uh, options. Uh, the game recommends that you use a controller because it's a twin stick kind of game. Uh, left thumbstick will pilot the aircraft. The right thumbstick will aim your gun. I haven't decided yet what control scheme I like. Um... You can do mouse and keyboard, and I'm still struggling to see if I like that better. There's also airplane steering. Relative meaning that if you're facing to the bottom left, holding in A or D will turn you based on the direction that you're facing. If you choose absolute instead, you move in whatever direction your thumbstick is pointed. So instead of you you know, making long swings with just A and D, you'll be using, you know, maybe the up and right thumbstick to move up and right or the down thumbstick to move down. It's, it's, it takes some getting used to. You decide what you like best, but I personally like the relative better. I'm going to go ahead and disable vibration function because I do alternate between mouse and keyboard and the joystick. Um, display quality and resolution, full screen V-Sync, Audio, master, music, and sound effects. Keyboard mapping. Gamepad mapping. Enter code, in case you want to do cheat codes. And then there's this debug options here. The controls are fairly simple, especially with the Xbox 360 control that I'm using. Um, X to interact, Y to switch weapons. I didn't get some of these actually yet. I'm still, you know, in the, in the early steps. But right trigger to shoot, left trigger harpoons, that kind of thing. Let's get into it and I'll show you. Again, we'll go new game. Yeah. Again, I didn't get very far, so I don't mind doing that for you folks. When I was just a child, my father brought me on a journey across the desert to find our new home. He hoped that the city in the sky would provide a better life, free from the dangers below. The last time I saw him, he was waving goodbye as I flew over the walls of the spire. I quickly discovered that surviving in Granaria's underside is nothing but struggle. Sky fishing is a way of life up here, despite the low pay and risk of pirates. These days, I make ends meet fixing planes out of my hangar with a little fishing on the side. I know there's more for me up here than just scraping by. The old undersiders tell stories about the sky whale, a creature in the highest layer that would make anyone who catches it incredibly rich. That's what father would want for me. That's how I'll finish his story. Okay, so in between flights, you're going to be at your workshop here. There's a hangar, workbench, and shop. Under the shop, you can spend money that you earn. I've got zero right now in the upper right-hand corner. But you can spend it on weapons. Um, just go over there's uh, different, I guess that's planes, possibly. Fish radar, slow down gas, one weapon, skins, okay. Yeah, so these, these look like different planes from the looks of it. Pretty cool. Like I said, it reminds me a bit of Tailspin. Workbench, you can use uh, scrap metal, gunpowder, pipe, machinery, plastics, glass, electrical power, and plasma crystals. You can click on them here. And they'll fill into this crafting bench here. Now, I don't know what the recipes are, to tell you the truth. Inventions. So, yeah, you can throw pieces together in order to unlock various things. Okay. Then there's the hangar. 
You can toggle between different chassis, engine, wings, first and second weapons. We're just going to go ahead and uh, hit launch. Pirate activity has been on the rise, so the topsiders are forcing skyfishers to pass flight tests. The first time I tried, they failed me for being a bit... rough. Can't fly until I'm approved, so I guess following the rules for a little while won't hurt. I'm going to go ahead and skip the tutorial, though. Hold in Y. Okay, so now we're back here. We'll just, we'll go back out. Hangar, launch. The tutorial isn't anything major. After months of preparations. My new adventure begins today. I can catch that Sky Whale no matter the cost. Wherever he is. I know I'll make father proud. The tutorial shows you how to move around, how to shoot, and how to harpoon things. That's about it. Okay, again, I still haven't decided yet what control scheme I like better. I'm using the mouse and keyboard right now. For those of you folks that don't have an Xbox 360 controller, or just a controller in general. But yeah, you fly around on this two-dimensional plane. But what's cool is when you're ready to move up to the next level, there's a little... There's a little building that lets you do that, and you'll actually fly up, sort of like you did in Spore. Do you remember the cell stage in Spore? Whenever you grew enough, the level would sort of zoom, and you would see the level that you were on in the background? Well, it's the same thing here. So if I were to go up a level right now, I would see this in the background. So you're constantly going higher and higher. To shoot its left mouse button... There is a little bit of a recoil, though. Note that my plane's jerking there. There are things hidden in these little bushes sometimes. I think it's the golden trees that you have to watch out for. To go up a level, you simply go to that thing over there. It was to the left. And right now, I'm just interested in catching fish. I don't want to shoot anyone. If you do start shooting other planes, cops show up and try and shoot you down. So I'm trying to be good this time, because I wasn't last time. Your health bar, my goodness. Health bar is around your plane itself. There's a little blue... Oh, my bad, just ran into you. Well, you're trying to shoot at things too, so I don't feel so bad. But I gotta be careful with who I shoot and where I shoot, because... Again, the cops could come after me if I'm not careful. And yes, you can accidentally shoot fish if you're not careful either. Okay, sometimes the pirates, when you destroy them, will drop items. Oh, oh there's a nice large school of fish. Again, I'm looking for secrets. I'm looking for little gold bushes somewhere. Now, I believe those little plus symbols mean that it won't let you up until you actually clear the gate. I just saw the pirate leave, so maybe maybe we can. Let's check it out. Yep. Again, not exactly smooth there. It gives me a headache. Again, it's early access, just to remind you folks. Oh, I'm getting knocked around by these missiles. Now, right mouse button is harpoon. That lets me latch on to things, but I'm not exactly sure yet what the use is outside of the tutorial. Oh, check it out. I, I just got a fish. <laughs> it's awesome. Oh, okay. There's a little bush. Take that.
little turrets there that try and shoot you down. Hold in R to return home. I believe it's Y on the... No, it's, it's the down arrow on your D-pad on the Xbox 360 controller if you want to return home. You'll just fly immediately home. Yeah, something tells me this area is way too tough for me. We'll see. There are a lot of explosions. Well, that doesn't sound too good. Hear the little sirens in the background? That's, I believe the police... Oops, my bad. Either they're after me or they're after the pirates. I'm not sure. Maybe they're just responding to combat in general. I'll see if I can show them to you real quick before we leave. Just keep an eye out. Well, they're around here somewhere. Oops. Yeah, you don't want to run into to other things either. Like I'm con consistently doing. Well, the cops might have gone away. Heading up. Obviously, the higher you go, the more difficult the enemies become. Which is where upgrading your plane is necessary. Alright, we need to get out of here. Alright, I hold an R. Heading back home. So whenever we do this, we have to avoid collisions. Also, when you die, you want to try and land on that little platform there. If you miss, you lose the game and your save is eliminated. Which I find to be a little rough and a little little harsh. But So I caught some fish. I made some money. Got some parts. Some cargo. Let's go to the shop. And let's go back here. Basic weaponry. So I can I can order more things. I can maybe buy this or this. Um, hmm. Now let's just do basic weaponry for right now. What do we want? More damage. Let's just try the damage. All right. We'll head back out. Now we can switch weapons here. Alright, so I think you guys get the gist of it. Oh, cool. So, again, basically you're just going to be trying to gather as much money as possible by fishing, destroy pirates along the way, collect scrap and materials, upgrade your plane, rinse and repeat until you get to the topmost level to get that whale and, and, and win the game, possibly. I don't know if there's more to it than that, but that's, that's, the, that's the general idea. Um, not a bad little game so far. Again, it's it's early access. The game is certainly playable. Like, some things need to be smoothed out a little bit. Like, for example, you know, whenever you're switching levels, there's that jerkiness, like, right here. Watch. That. My screen is just going nuts. Now, I don't know if that's due to my graphic settings or what the case is, but, you know, stuff like that needs to be ironed out, in my opinion. But overall, like, it's it's not bad. It's a little casual game. I like it. I'm sure it's going to get a lot harder as it goes on. But the graphics are lovely. I will say that. The graphics are indeed lovely. And I, I love the idea, like I said, in like the spore background. As you go up a level like so, the previous level fades into the background. 
and you can see it down below. That, that, that's a really cool idea. I like that. So, beautiful game. Interesting concept. Pretty casual. Probably more, more not so later on, but most games are like that. For whatever reason, I can't seem to pick that up. What's up with that? Get back here. I still haven't figured out that thing. It's flying around on its own. Yeah, I got it. What are you going to do now? Can I pick it up? Can I just wave it around and... Whoa, there's the police. Oh, I... <laughs> my bad. I just whipped it with a med pack, I think. Yeah, I can't seem to use it. All right, let's, let's go back home before we crash. I wonder if we get something extra for bringing this back. I'm not sure. Again, I've only been playing for like 15, 20 minutes, so there may be some things about this game that I don't fully know. But anyway, uh, hopefully you found this enjoyable and helpful. If you guys want to see more gameplay, let me know. If you guys haven't already, subscribe to my channel and check out my official website, www.dadsgamingaddiction.com. This is Vince. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.